my name is Dr. Kretzler. I'm one of the two radiation oncologists here at Allegiance. And we're actually sitting right now in the beautiful courtyard of radiation oncology. Um, so I've been here um, at Allegiance for two years now. And I think we have a very excellent group of um, cancer specialists here. We have a very, very good um, cooperation um, throughout the departments for our um, patients. And I, I just love being here. I really enjoy my job every day. Radiation therapy is a very important part of cancer treatment for a lot of our cancer patients. Um, we're using very strong x-rays to kill cancer cells off so that they don't continue to grow and that, that, that helps to cure the patient. So radiation damages the DNA, which is the um, genetic material, so it hurts the genetics of the cancer cells so that it cannot continue growing, so that it kills the cancer off. Um, so to make sure that healthy tissue does not get damaged um, by the radiation, um, the radiation oncologist looks at a number of things. Um, so first of all, we make sure that we have delineated all the normal tissue that we really want to spare by all means. And then we determine um, from which angles the radiation beam should come in to travel hopefully to avoid the normal tissue and then we also limit the dose that the normal tissue gets so that we don't cause any severe side effects. Um, so keep in mind that cancer gets treated very individually nowadays. Um, we really, you know, make an individual plan for each patient. Um, so a lot of our patients come somewhere between five and a half and seven weeks on a regular basis, daily basis, Monday through Friday, weekends would be off. Um, but some of our patients come for eight and a half weeks, a lot of our prostate patients, and some patients just come for a single treatment, so it really depends a lot on the goal. Well, there are different kinds of radiation. Here at Legions, we mostly use external beam radiation and brachytherapy. So external beam radiation is given um, with a linear accelerator, accelerator, so with a machine um, where we can switch radiation on and off. And the second type of radiation is um, brachytherapy where we use um, radioactive seeds. We do that for all prostate cancer patients where we um, place those seeds into the prostate gland so it can deposit a very high dose of radiation right into the target. So some patients we actually treat before surgery together with chemotherapy. So a bunch of our patients do get concurrent radiation with chemotherapy and then go for surgery. Um, also a lot of patients go to surgery first and then get either a combination of chemotherapy and radiation at the same time after the surgery, or some would get, get chemotherapy first, followed by radiation. A lot of our prostate patients get radiation alone. Um, then patients who we treat for painful disease, they get radiation alone often. It depends very much on the disease. Um, to plan the radiation treatment, um, there are different parts to it. First of all, the patients come in for a planning session to our department where we um, have them in a comfortable position that we can reproduce um, very well for every single treatment. Um, we get a CAT scan during that session, which I use to calculate the radiation dose. I use the scan to draw where the cancer is, the area that I want to treat, but I also delineate what I want to spare, so all the healthy organs in the vicinity. And um, then the, our dosimetrists help me um, to calculate a plan for the patient, so they define where the beams need to enter and to exit, again, to hit the cancer well, but um, to avoid any normal tissue. So there is basically two parts to the planning, so the planning session and then the actual calculating the treatment plan.